This is Husky Buildout, the newest competitor in the modular toolbox market. They have some very interesting features packed into this system, so let's get into my first impressions. I'm excited to go over the specs and features, but first, let's go over the pricing and compare it to a few other toolboxes. On the low end is Husky Connect, coming in at $99.98. My usual budget recommendation, Rigid 2.0, is $179. Another toolbox only sold at Home Depot, Ryobi, is $209.91. And Milwaukee Packout comes in at $309. The build-out three-piece set is about half the price of Packout at $154.94. The small toolbox is $29.98. The middle toolbox is $44.98, and the bottom rolling box is $79.98. For more context on pricing, check out one of my previous videos on the top 15 toolboxes of early 2023. Let's talk about the features on the tool case. Right away, you'll notice this pretty unique indentation on the lid, which is actually an optimized work surface. So now you can have a place to store your hand tools, not worry about anything rolling off or even storing smaller items like bits and fasteners. I've looked at more than 15 different toolbox systems and this Husky build-out is the only one that has this type of feature. This next feature is actually the one that I'm most excited to talk about, the integrated side rail. There's currently only one other toolbox system on the market that has a similar feature, Klein Modbox. But build-out has a few advantages over Modbox, such as, the rail extending further side to side, onto the front, and onto the back. Oh yeah, and build-out is half the price of Modbox. As far as accessories go that can attach to these rails, the only items that are currently available are these hooks. Let's take a closer look. These hooks have a very simple yet sturdy construction. The built-in lever clicks into place and then can be removed very easily. These hooks definitely are similar to ones from Klein Modbox, but the clear advantage is that they can go on these corners. By extending the distance between the hooks, it makes them very versatile. One example is wrapping the cord around the hooks, but as I mentioned in a previous packout rail video, I prefer to just wrap it up with a Velcro strap. In addition to the hooks that I got at my Home Depot, there's a few items online that are currently out of stock. Another neat feature about this integrated rail is two cutouts per side for belt clips. The cutout works well with this larger clip from the M18 drill, but my smaller clip on this M12 impact doesn't fit as nicely. My last video was all about the Nolster locking tool clip. Sadly, it doesn't work with these cutouts, but just like I made a holder for the packout system, I'll come up with a solution for Husky Buildout. Another solution I'll be working on is a way for my 3D printed accessories and the Husky side rail ones to work together. My goal is to make my accessories work with all different toolbox systems. So you can take your tool tray from your packout stack to your build out one. If these organization accessories interest you, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned to my website, whyhedesigns.com, for my newest products. Before looking inside the box, I want to talk about these latches. They are a huge upgrade from the original Husky Connect system. And the overall look, feel, and performance is similar to boxes that cost much more. When opening the lid, the first thing you're going to notice is that it can't open all the way before hitting the handle. And that's actually a pretty common problem with these toolboxes, so it's kind of disappointing that Husky didn't fix that before releasing their system. Once you lower the handle, the lid will stay up. On the inside of the box, there's two things I want to point out. First, there's no internal organization compartments included like this one from Rigid. And second, there's two protrusions because of the locking mechanism on the side of the box. Although it's not included, Husky does sell this compatible organizer at a pretty reasonable price. The four latches provide a waterproof seal, and on the inside, there's several dividers to customize your setup. The molding of the box holds the bin perfectly in the center, and it can accommodate up to two of them. Now let's talk about the most important part of these modular toolboxes, the connecting mechanism. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I'm a big proponent for front latching mechanisms like the ones on Packout and Modbox. But Husky did a really good job with these low profile side latches. Buildout uses these spring-loaded latches 
called the dual lock and release mechanism. To release the box, just pull up on the latches from the bottom and the box will release. Moving on to the medium toolbox. Just like the top one, there is a recess that can be used as a tool tray, but it does get in the way of the handle. The handle is pretty ergonomic, but the lid does need to be latched for it to function correctly. Just like the top box, there's the side accessory rail, but it actually extends on this box to the front. I can't wait to test this rail out with more accessories, but as you can see with the hooks, it opens up to even more possibilities. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. Oh shoot, it hits the handle. On the inside of this middle box, make sure you receive one tool tote. I like the design of this tote. It's a lot like the Klein Modbox one, with two long compartments and two small ones. It feels very sturdy, and it can be placed in one of three positions in this box. On the left side, in the middle, or on the right side. Just like the top box, there's a special location for this build-out organizer. When the organizer is in place, the tote can't be on that side. So it's nice that they have that middle location. If you place the organizer towards the outer wall, the box will be able to close, but it fits best with the organizer lid facing towards the inside of the box. Another possible feature is a divider that will fit in this middle rib. Speaking of internal organization accessories, I want to quickly talk about my 4x4 and 2x4 XL bins. I initially designed these bins for the packout system, but as you can see, I've noticed that the bins fit just as nicely in Husky build-out. Organize hand tools, fasteners, bit cases, and more, and easily transfer multiple tools at a time from your box to a tote or bag. Check these out on whyhedesigns.com. In addition to the top handle, there are two places where you can grab on the side, but they're not that ergonomic. Here's another view of the connecting mechanism. Sadly, it is a two-handed operation, but I think it's just as easy, if not easier, than competitors like Flex, DeWalt, and Rigid 2.0. Now let's talk about the rolling toolbox. Starting with the most important part, the handle. To lower the handle, you need to pull together these two red prongs at the same time. A button release is better, but this works fine. Another exciting and commonly desired feature is a removable handle. By releasing these two latches, the handle can be completely removed. With the handle removed, from the ground to the top of the lid, it's just over 16 inches. So you should have no problem storing these toolboxes in a truck bed with a cover. These latches are my third favorite way to have a removable handle, right after Modbox and Rigid 2.0. At first glance, I thought these wheels were all plastic, but they are actually a rubber material. And they're just over 8 inches tall. Just like the top box, this bottom rolling box does not include any additional organization accessories. However, you can take the tool tray out of the large toolbox and it still fits on the right, middle, and left side. Also, there are the same slots on each side to hold the clear organizer. Something else I want to point out is how spacious this bottom box is. The wheel wells are much smaller than other competitors. On the front of this box, there is an integrated handle, but it's not very ergonomic. Also, it could be improved by making it a tie down point as well, like Packouts, which is a handle, foot stop, and lashing point. There is a hole in this one plastic reinforcement by the latch, but I think that actually solves the other problem of securing and locking the boxes. Almost every other toolbox system has a reinforced hole on every lid, so you can put a padlock through. The geometry on the Husky lids is kind of weird, so a traditional small padlock can't lock each box individually. The solution I've come up with right now is using a metal bar to attach each box together. I wouldn't be surprised if Husky comes out with their own metal locking bar, but if you make one yourself, it's not that expensive of a solution to provide much more security. Thanks for watching this first impressions video. If you're interested in more content on build out versus pack out versus other toolbox systems, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in any of my products that I make and sell, go to whyhedesigns.com. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.